for that, I uh, will come back to EBM and five. And this video, we want to look at the question paper of June uh, 2024. And uh, we are going to look at paper two. And uh, we are in particular, we're going to look at question 2.3 on that question paper. That is paper two. So um, this is a question that we have according to 2.3. And that the question reads, uh, you are selling shoes for 90 rands and the cost price is 40 rand. You then decide to include takeys as well at selling price of 100 rands and cost price of 60 rand. Shoes contribute 70% to your total sales. The fixed costs are now 3,000 rands. Calculate the break-even point for a profit goal of 5,000 rands. Then uh, this is uh, what we have uh, there. Uh, the question needs us to calculate the break-even point for a profit goal of 5,000 rands. But we are given this information that we are given. Uh, so we are going to uh, use a formula that is going to be in line uh, with uh, what we what you are uh, the values that we are given them, but you know that um the formula that we are going to use, uh, we are going to use the formula that uh, entails that. Uh, let's just try to uh, bring it down. Uh, we are saying uh we are, we are going to say break even point. Uh, break even point is equals to our fixed cost. Uh, plus uh, plus the profit uh, that we are given there. And then the other that we are going to get, we divide uh, by the weighted average uh, gross profit, uh, weighted average gross profit uh, percentage. So uh, this is what we have. The weighted average gross profit percentage is the, going to be the denominator. So uh, the task that we have there is to find uh, the uh, the weighted average gross profit percentage. So for us to arrive at the, weight, at the weighted average gross profit percentage, we are going to uh, fill in the table that we have here whereby we're going to fill in uh, the selling price, uh, cost price, then we calculate the, the gross profit. Then when, when we have uh, calculated the gross profit, uh, we go down and then uh, calculate, the weight, calculate the weighted average gross profit percentage that we are going to use, use as, as the denominator. So uh, for us to calculate uh, the weighted average gross profit, we are going to say the proportion of, of, of our sales times the percentage that will be given for gross profit. So uh, that's what we are going to do. So we can start with uh, our 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 calculation of gross profit whereby we are just going to list at the sale price there and then we list at the, the cost price there then we list the gross profit there then we calculate the gross profit so uh, if you go to the question uh, let's just try to see what do we have in the question the question is saying shoes is good uh a sale, sale price of night and then the cost price is, is 40 and then we go to our takeies our selling price is 100 and then the cost price is 60. So we're just going to enter, uh, list that as we have, as, as they are listed there. So uh, here we're saying shoes, uh, our, our, our same price uh, for shoes. Uh, let's just try to see. We have got our same price for shoes being 90. So we are saying 90. And then uh, we have got our same price for checkies uh, being 100. So remember uh, all the uh, values that we are going to put there uh, in, uh, in runs. Then uh, we have got the cost price. Uh, remember, we have we are saying forty for uh, for shoes, and then for takeies we are saying sixty. So for gross profit, find our gross profit. We are going to say gross profit uh, is equals to our selling price minus our cost price. So we are going to say uh, this one we subtract forty from there. Ninety minus forty, you are going to get some uh, gross profit. Whereby your gross profit is going to be your, your fifty. Hundred minus sixty, you are going to get your uh, gross profit as fifty. Then after that, uh, we are going to calculate uh, the gross profit percentage, uh, gross profit percentage whereby we are going to say gross profit uh, over selling price. So uh, here we are saying gross profit uh, percentage. So uh, to get our gross profit percentage. Uh, we are going to say uh, we are going to say our gross profit over our selling price. So basically, that's what we are, we are going to do. So here, if we say uh, our gross profit here is fifty. Uh, our gross profit uh, here is 50. And I will know that our selling price is 90. And then here we are saying gross profit is 40. And our selling price is 100. So uh, if you say uh, 50 over a 90, and of course, I uh, multiply by 100 over 1. Uh, the percentage that we are going to get there is going to be 55.6% to one decimal place. And then here, 40 over 100 uh, times 100 over 1. Obviously, it's uh, going to come back to, uh, say they'll get one, so it's going to come back to your 40%.
So uh, this is what we have. So uh, we come here uh, on the second table. Uh, we are going to put our sales figure in this column, gross profit percentage in this column, uh, gross profit percentage uh, in the middle column. So basically, this is our gross profit percentage. So we are saying sales. Here we have put our our sales. Uh, if you go there, uh, let's just try to go back and see uh, what do we have. Uh, we are told that shoes contribute 70% to your total sales. So contribution to sales is 70% for shoes. And then um, if, if shoes are 70%, it means uh, uh, our checkies will be equal to 100 minus 70%, which is 30. 30%. So I got 30% for checkies, then shoes, uh, we are given it as 70%. Uh, so uh, this is this is what we are going to put in this column and uh, where we have the uh, sales. So here we are saying uh, contribution to sales, contribution to sales percentage, uh, contribution to sales percentage. So we are going to express this to express it as a decimal there. Uh, for shoes, we are saying it's a uh, it's, it's seventy percent. So we are saying uh, uh, let's just try to uh, reconfirm there according to our calculations. We are saying that for shoes is seventy percent. So uh, we are saying as uh, 70%, percent. Uh, we express it as a decimal, uh, which is 0 0.7. And then for check is 30%, percent, which is 0 0.3 as a decimal. Then the gross percentage percentage, you are going to put it as a percentage. Uh, that is, uh, we are saying uh, from calculation, previous calculation, we got 55.6% uh, percent for shoes. So we are saying 55.6%. Uh, percent. And then for check is, uh, we got uh, 40%. So to get our weighted average now, for shoes, we are going to say 0 0.7, and then we multiply by 55.6. So is uh, is this uh, is is uh, is expressed here, 0 0.7 times 55.6, uh, you are going to get your 38.92. And then for uh, checkies, we are going to say uh, 0 0.3 times 40. And we are going to see that we are going to get 12. So when you add to 38.92 plus uh, 12, we are going to get you 50.92. 50.92 uh, percent. So this is going to be your weighted average gross profit percentage. So basically, we are saying this is your total weighted average gross profit percentage. So this is going to be your denominator. So we we, we come back again uh, to our formula uh, that we we put here. And whereby we say fixed cost, the break even point is goes to fixed cost plus profit over weighted average, uh, over weighted average, um, gross profit percentage. So uh, let's uh, just try to see how we can we go about that. One. So uh, what we are saying is our fixed cost. Uh, we are giving our fixed cost in the question is three thousand. If you come here, I uh, will see that uh, the fixed cost that we are giving there. Uh, is three thousand, and then uh, we the profit figure is five thousand. So you're going to say three thousand uh, plus five thousand, and then we divide by the weighted average gross percentage that we got, which is fifty uh, fifty point nine two percent. Going to be the denominator. So let's just see uh, what are we going to uh, go? How are we going to go about it? So we are just going to express it as such. So let's just see. Uh, so if you say your five thousand uh, for your profit plus Fixed cost 3000, you are going to get your, uh, your 8000, obviously. So uh, we are going to say our, our fixed cost 3000, and then we add your profit, which is 5000. We divided by the weighted average gross profit percentage, which is 0. Uh, 50 0.92%. percent Then we express it as a decimal, it becomes 0. 0.5092 as the denominator. Then uh, obviously, uh, there, uh, if you express it further, there is going to be 8000. Uh, if you add the two, you get 8,000, then you divide by 0 0.5092. And then the other that you're going to get is this one. But obviously, this is money. Uh, so we are going to round up to the nearest two decimal places to express it, uh, to, express it to cents. So it becomes um, 15,710.92. So uh, this is uh, what we have. Uh, uh, this is what we have uh, for the final answer that we have. So uh, we, are, uh, we are saying our final answer now is... Uh, Fifteen thousand seven hundred and ten point nine two. So that uh, becomes our final answer. After we've rounded off to two decimal places here, we have nine uh, behind. Nine has changed our one to two. So uh, this is what we have, guys. According to this video, on the calculation of break-even point, uh, given uh, the contextual figures that we are given, are uh, there according to the question.
So I uh, say, let's say you promote videos to come as YouTube, for example, those of you subscribe, please subscribe and see. Uh, first for this video, I'm signing out to meet again.